So now in this video we're just going to take a look at measuring voltage with the uh, Hantec uh, 2D72. So it's actually an oscilloscope but it also has multimeter uh, functions as well. So all we're going to do is look at measuring voltage like a multimeter. The unit comes with multimeter probes in this bag here. We will slide them out and they have a cover on the plugs. We'll remove the plugs and try not to lose them. Right there. And we have the slots down here for the multimeter probes. So we got the A for amps, MA for milliamps, and it only can measure 200 milliamps maximum, it looks like. And then COM, which is where the black probe goes for everything with this meter. If you're doing a multimeter uh, reading and we got uh, V for voltage uh, the Omega symbol for ohms capacitance measurement and diode testing so if you're doing any of those basically if you're not measuring current you want to plug the red probe into that spot there I just got this uh, meter and apparently before you can operate it with uh, just the battery you got to uh, charge it so it's charging right now we have the power button there though just uh, got to press it and it turns on pretty simple so now zooming in and adjusting the light so we can see the uh, display a little bit better you can see that uh, right now we have the scope set up that's how it was when I first powered this on I just had to hit digital multimeter and it's already set to measure voltage and let's zoom in a little bit more. So the uh, camera is actually changing the color a little bit. It's uh, easier to read in person. That's a darker blue, but it says DCV for uh, DC voltage. And then uh, that's uh, actually uh, uh, gray, even though it's showing up kind of a light blue. So we have, I think that's function one, two, three, four, but it changes the uh, menus. Also at uh, the top of the display here, you can see the batteries charge in again. Right when you get out of the box, it doesn't uh, power on with just battery, I guess. But uh, once we charge it, it should. Now. You can see it shows where to move the probes. And you're here clicking as it changes to measure uh, resistance. So uh, this is an auto ranging meter. All you have to do is set it to measure voltage or resistance. There you go. You can see probes in the same spot. Let's uh, go to some other options there. And uh, that's milliamps. Kind of looks like an N on uh, the camera. Those are both M's for milli. But there you can see milliamps. There you can see it showed where you have to put the probes. So. That's all we're going to cover in this video. Go back to uh, DC voltage. And now we'll take a uh, voltage measurement. So this is actually the first voltage measurement I've ever taken with uh, this meter. And uh, that's about what we expect there. I have the power supply set to 5 volts. But there's a little bit of resistance along the way and uh, whatnot. And uh, But it's uh, really close 5 volts. Looks like uh, we're pretty accurate. I'm going to take uh, this. It's a 10 watt 5 ohm resistor. This is going to pass a lot of current. And once I connect it, I got to let go uh, kind of quickly. It's going to heat up uh, relatively quickly, so not super quick. But once it's hot, I uh, definitely don't want to touch it. Right now, it's uh, got uh, about 5 watts of uh, power. And uh, I put the probes backwards. Uh, but there you can see, we had uh, some voltage drop. So you put the probes backwards, you just get a negative voltage. Uh, that's pretty standard with... Uh, uh, voltage meters or multimeters that can uh, measure voltage so you can see we got a little bit of a drop that's because we got resistance in the connectors and stuff a little voltage is uh, being dropped so we looked at that in the uh, last video with another multimeter and uh, we're basically getting uh, the same readings so that's pretty good um, we do have uh, this green button here so what I'm going to do is get a voltage measurement and so we saw what it was before. Make sure it's on the display. I'm not getting a very good connection. Let's go up to the alligator clips. Right there. Okay. All right. So we got uh, 4.89. I'm going to hit the green button. And that is holding that right there. I removed the probes. And we still have the uh, reading on the display. So if you want to use that at any time, that's uh, what that does. And apparently it turns red. I know it's not showing up very good. Uh, hopefully you can see that button and it was green before we pressed it so any case very simple video uh, but uh, I kind of assume that you're new to electronics if you watched uh, this particular video so uh, 
kept it simple for a reason. As I learn more about the meter and uh, stuff, I'm going to make uh, future videos covering uh, those topics. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.